Hello you lovely lot, welcome back to my office. I thought I'd try and put a vlog together today, let you know what I'm up to. Um, I've just got back from dropping off parcels. Uh, I didn't film picking orders and packing orders, uh, really didn't feel up to it this morning, but I thought I would try and put something out today. Um, I've got a package here. <laughs> Ian, if you're watching, I'm not allowed to open this until the Sunday live show. And it's addressed to Nick the old man. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. Very squishy. Ian's got a very squishy package. <laughs> yeah, so that, I, I, I have no idea what's in it. He won't tell me. Um, and then I'll quickly share this. Um, Andrea's been cross-listing um, some of our stuff that we have on eBay on Etsy. She's been selling on Etsy for years. I still haven't got started on Etsy. And I listed two sets of these placemats, you may remember, from a recent video. Um, so she cross-listed these onto Etsy and they've just sold for £20 for the set, which I think is what I ended up with them on eBay. I might have gone a little bit less on eBay, actually. Um, so we've cancelled those on eBay and those will be shipped out uh, tomorrow. So, the other thing I wanted to share with you, if I just tilt you down, you'll see this. That is some of the stock I have of um, Red Nose Day stuff. This is all vintage stuff. Now, I've been a collector of Red Nose Day stuff myself for many, many years, and that kind of developed into buying job lots whenever I see them, and reselling them to collectors. Um, let me give you an example. These are little squeaky ones. Hang on. When we used to have Monty, our dog, I could not do this. Within earshot of Monty, he would go wild. Um, I think these were, I've got to get this right, I think these are 99. So way back in the 90s. Um, so I've got loads of those. We've got these are really vintage, 1991. These are hard plastic ones. I've sealed the bags, can't get them out. Ah, oh, hold, hold on. I've got a mixed lot that's not sorted here. I'll show you some of the older ones. So there you go. 1991, it's a little plastic nose with hands. Um, do you remember these? I think this was uh, 2003. They had hair and you could style it. They actually came in a box. Um, I've got a load of the boxed ones here. Here we go. So these, that's the same one with its original box from 2003 and you get hair gel in there. Um, and then you've got 2005, was it? Yes. You had these, I like these. If I can get it out. These are this guy with like elastic hair covering his eyes. Um, yeah, I've got tons of those to sort out in there. Um, so Red Nose, uh, try again. Red Nose Day stuff is really collected. And in recent years, they, they do like foam ones, these squishy ones. And each year there's like nine or 10 different ones. And they started doing that uh, I think it was 2015 they had the first set of nine. Um, I've got some of those. This is a 2015 set, which are proving very hard to get hold of, so they're quite collectible, so I've been buying job lots of those. Um, and around that time, I found that people were trying to complete the sets from those years, from 2015, for example, and then 2017. And then they kind of got into it as a collection. You know what it's like once you get five or six or 10 of something, it's like, <gasps> it's a collection. And in recent years, I found that the older one, there's not a lot of money in it. This is one of those things, right? Don't think you can get rich <laughs> selling Red Nose Day stuff. It's something I've been quite passionate about for many years and I enjoy sourcing and selling them. But there is a market for the vintage stuff. Let me show you some more. Uh, this one with a little tongue. He is, now when was that? 2001, I think. It used to go, <laughs> oh, almost. 
usually the tongues on these when you find them are gone like that guy um, this was a bit of a dull year this was uh, 2007 it came with stickers so you could decorate it but yeah they're not very exciting are they um, yeah so I have been sorting through into I'm doing some bundles I'm doing some all oh, these are nice these for example 1995 I want to say yeah they issued two plastic noses one turns pink and one turns uh, yellow when you warm it up so if you put it on your nose your breath heats it up and it changes color um, those are one of the few that can fetch an okay amount of money I think the most I've ever got for one of those is 15 uh, I'm not sure whether I'll aim that high this year because I've got loads and I want to shift them um, tomatoes Do you remember the tomatoes I think this is 93 oh yeah it says on it 93 yeah anyway so that's what I've been doing I've also been going through vinyl still and preparing lots of um, erasure stuff to list so I've been kind of busy I haven't managed to get as many new listings on as I would have hoped um, yeah productivity motivation hasn't been where I'd hoped it would be this week um, but I'm going to try and get a load more of this sorted tonight, make some decisions on whether I bundle some of this stuff or make up sets or whatever I'm going to do. I just need to get it on, get it listed. Um, while I think of it, I'm, I'm wearing my uh, breast cancer awareness T-shirt again today. Um, I, I did have to pop out to Asda. Um, earlier but I had the hoodie on I remember back in the summer I went out in this and completely forgot I was wearing it and w was stood in in the line for the self-service with this on and had a really interesting chat with the one of the checkout ladies there uh, who didn't realize that men get breast cancer too so yeah this was from when uh, we did a marathon for breast cancer awareness and and funding ages ago now was that three years ago maybe wow because I haven't been doing picking orders videos uh, for a few days I thought I'd quickly um, read a couple of shout outs and messages that I've had from you guys uh, so quickly we have Sarah and Brian who bought some CDs thank you so much uh, there's a message on here uh, you have kick butted us into action. Love that. <laughs> and now waiting for lockdown to ease. Thank you for your inspiration through these tough times. So thank you so much for that. Here we go. Hi, Nick and Andrew. I've been watching your videos for some time. Even the kids enjoy watching with us. Even the kids. Um, have learned a lot from you. It has also inspired us to start reselling. And that's Lenny and Keely who picked up one of the cubes. Um, another cube sale. Hi Nick, got this for my daughter, as I'm sure this will keep her amused for a while. I'm a sub to your YouTube channel and find your videos helpful. I'm thinking of becoming a reseller uh, in this lockdown. Keep up the good work. Uh, Sean, thank you very much. And I don't think I read this one out. Uh, John bought a couple of DVDs. And says, hi Nick, I'm a YouTube sub, love the videos. Um, I loved the live the other night. I hoped you washed that finger. I think that's relating to a video. I was on Lainey's channel and we were playing one of these crazy online games you can do. And it was one of the answers I gave to one of the questions that was a bit <laughs> dubious. Anyway, you had to be there. Um yeah keep the videos coming yeah that is John so thank you very much for that so whilst Red Nose Day and picking up vintage Red Nose Day stuff is on my mind I'm going to link a video up here where um, I think it's like three or four years ago now I found listed on eBay a four foot nose that was designed to go on the side of a building it was from the 90s and super rare thing 
and we found it on eBay. We got it for next to nothing. I think it was 10 or 20 pounds. We drove to Essex to pick it up and I made a video about it. And then a couple of years later, we sold it off on eBay um, to raise funds for Red Nose Day. Um, so please check out the video that I will link up here for you and you can see what this nose looked like and see the little road trip that we made to go and pick it up. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.